Bloom. You have arrived at your destination, Bloom Complex. All this time she's been holed up in Bloom. Ever since Larson sold, well, me, to Bloom, she's maintained close ties with the company. This just gets better and better. Will you look at this place? We'll need to pull some info from the server banks to have a hope of finding her. Okay, I'm on it. We should spread out and search the area. All units, all units, proceed to alarm location. Acknowledge, over. Trail's gone cold. Let's regroup. quite excited to share this with you, the board of directors. The facility will be an extension of my quantum computing lab and will house certain other endeavors that I prefer not to share during this presentation. This is valuable real estate you have under your feet. It's as if you've been waiting for me to put it to good use. What's this thing Larson's got with secret underground facilities, I swear? Look violent. Go take it down to her. Sending location on a 1033. Advise conditions. Check neural upload status. 90%, not good enough. Load processor temperature. 
Holy shit, she's uploading herself. Jesus, fuck, she's a few minutes away from immortality. If you don't kill her upload, we'll have no way of stopping her or daybreak. What was that? Crooked's disentangling connections rerouted. This isn't an accident.
You're here, aren't you? You didn't heed my warning. What are you doing? Redirecting memory access. You should have stayed away. You are making the biggest mistake of your life and you don't pay dearly, please. Before it's too late. What did you do? Restart upload. Restart upload. Team against me now. All right. Security to the quantum lab. Security to the quantum lab. Code red. Listen to me. What you saw in my lab, that was nothing more than the early stages of a very important Look around. experiment. Corruption, Maybe climate change, nuclear war, humanity is doomed to self-destruction. The daybreak can change that. Help me bring about the next stage of human evolution. We can save lives. We can ascend. That's sick. Are you seeing all this? She's dying. You brought a friend. Everyone you killed and tortured. All of that was to save your sorry life. You're pathetic. This isn't about me. With our minds in the cloud, humanity can endure any natural disaster. We can be safe, free, and happy forever. I don't give a shit about humanity. You're a psycho brat who wants what she wants, and fuck everyone else, including your mother. You still have time to make things right. Reactivate my upload. Let me live so I can continue my work. Mate, you can't believe a single thing she says. Now shut down her life support and finish this. Whatever you decide, she can't stop you. I can't stop you. The choice is yours. Please, don't!
do what's right. Please, don't do this to me. Nothing left to do now but take a few selfies with the corpse. Quickly, though. Security's on the way. Be careful. So, what happened in there? It's over. Larson is dead. Thank fuck. One less liar in the world. Still, though, I can't help but think of those AI she created. Lobotomized, enslaved, shit. I know. We still have a great deal of work ahead of us. I just hope we can do it together. Don't get soft on me now. This was a professional arrangement. Let's keep it that way. Laters. Putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. I get that. But we're talking about donning a man in charge of the bloody PMC. That's got the whole of London in terror. What do you want us to do, eh? Sneaking? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Hey, softer. You must be rubbing off on me. You don't strike me as the kind of...
Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. <laughs> well, that is convenient. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report, intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. London calling. I'm Tash and this is Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want you to know. Today we're talking about policing, by consent or by force for profit. Ever since Sir Robert Peel created the police force as we know it in 1829, London has relied on the Metropolitan Police Service. Belagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs, quietly of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Good, let us go introduce ourselves. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Bit paranoid, I'd say. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Copy. Shit. 
I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Bugs, what about them windows up there? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home and resolve to be a better person. I'm onto it. Bagley. You're up. What should we do today? Traps is fucking right, Bagley. No exaggeration there. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. On it. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Open 
One more muscle chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, let's take this slow, mate. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Hardly. We have a more unofficial status. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Listen, listen, listen. Albion knows you're in London. You're wasting your time arguing with me. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, cuss is worse than you know. Tell me something I don't know. Look, mate, what do you think I'm doing here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. I'm here to get your help. Cass is on our shit list too. He was behind all the bombings and he came after us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess oh, you weren't fuck. lying about that part. Fuck. Think, think, think. Shit, fine. The table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No!
We are pursuing the suspects. Over. Crisis Britain. One of the kind of classic hallmarks okay, of a no fascist here. leader is having their own private army or police force. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate.